So I have figured out what the Asus L410 or the E410, whatever you want to call it. Um, mine came as an L410, but when I look up under msconfig32, it says E410. Uh, Asus says it doesn't matter as to which one it is, really, I don't understand it fully, but either which way, um, <clears throat> they come with a M.2 NVMe SSD slot internally for you to expand the storage with. Now, I don't think they mean for you to be able to do this. Um, they weren't too happy when I told them I did this. They said good for me. Um, but basically, um, I got a 64 gigabyte one. Well, 64 gigabytes just was not enough. So, what I did was bought an SSD, thinking, oh, well, I'll add 250 gigs to the 64 gigs. Well, no, that didn't work. That just gave me another drive, is all it did. So, this was my original operating system. It's still under OS, but it was 64 gigs, so you can see there. And this was my SD card. It's a SanDisk Ultra. 3D NVMe M.2 um, 250 gigabyte um, and I know it works for the ASUS L410 and A410 um, as you see I have my operating system on that SD card at this point and my operating system now has 250 gigabytes plus I can use this 64 gigabytes which I just haven't cleared my old operating system yet. Um, it's not hindering anything or messing anything up or doing anything bad or anything like that. So I'm just leaving it there, just just leaving it there for now. And um, yeah, that's just another storage device and a couple other devices but um, these are the two drives that you would have you would just have your main OS and uh, yeah what I did to do this was I used a tool called Macrium Reflect and I did a lot of research and this seems to be one of the safer tools and it is a free version you just click yes to install and it will pull up your disk. Um, now I do have an external Seagate that I made a system image to which is up here and I made a system image just in case anything goes wrong I can make my hard drive back to the way it was but as you see here it's still got its partitions and everything else and it's still a bootable hard drive and everything else. I just have my OS set as a 250 gig right now. And I have that set as a boot option, which I will explain in a later video with the BIOS. Now for this, I was going from a smaller SSD to a bigger SSD. So I was able to just click and drag my partitions down. And when I did it, whenever you get to OSC or the big partition you want to take that and then you want to click properties which will be down here and you'll want to go into properties and you'll want to expand it but you'll want to leave enough room for the 700 megabytes that you've got to leave for your recovery partition still so yeah, I can make farther videos explaining how to do that. Um, I'll have to get another hard drive in here. Um, but basically I just cloned my disk is what I did. <clears throat> and um, there's many videos on Macram and how to use Macram Reflect. So I don't really have to go into a lot of detail on Macram Reflect. But Macrium Reflect is how I did it. And it transferred the OS over, and I am now running on the SSD. I told you I was. I've run Crystal Dismark, 
and my C drive will give me read speeds of around 1900 and write speeds of around 950 that's my operating drive my old drive gives me read speeds of around 300 and write speeds of around 55 and that's the drive that came with the 64 gigabyte EMMC internally that you're not supposed to be able to modify um, it takes a minute to run Crystal Disk Marker, I, I would run it. Um, all my application settings, everything's working great, everything's booting up just fine. Um, yeah, I really haven't had any problems. Um, I will make another video about how to go into BIOS and change um, the BIOS settings for this. and. Um, what else you need to do, but um, yeah, basically you need to get Macri and Reflect free. Uh, make sure you get the right one and um, download it. And uh, hopefully you've got an external drive you can make an image or backup to. And then um, you back up all your drives, your documents, whatever you need to back up, and. Then you take your drives you want to do and you do it. And even though you can't remove the um, hard drive because it's soldered into the board there, um, you can still expand it and still manage to modify it and have a brand new SSD drive and not the drive they gave you. So this is a little tutorial to get started because I have found absolutely nothing on this yet.